Hello, and welcome to Notes in 9. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Episode number 9, X page viewer questions. Asking questions is easy. Validating the answer is difficult. Okay, quick for today's show, we're going to talk about some uh, Notes in 9 news, lost and found, and we're going to get to uh, some viewer questions, which is actual proof that there's at least one person watching. So, thank you very much. Okay, in the news... I finally have the RSS feed finalized. Uh, okay, I could have said that three times fast. Um, this is at feedburner.com, uh, notes and nine slash iTunes. And the iTunes does mean that I am back on the iTunes store finally, which is has been a goal of mine for a while and uh, you can search for Lotus Notes or Notes of Nine and, and it'll come up there so you can subscribe to it that way. I'm going to continue to publish to YouTube and we'll con keep doing that forever as long as the shows fit in the YouTube 10 minute limit. So what iTunes and this feed gives me is the ability to ability to do longer shows not that anyone really wants that or is asking for that but with free domino designer out now uh, I'm hoping that we're gonna get some new developers and I want to try and do some some things to try and help them and not everything can really be done within nine minutes so we might have a a notes nine extended edition show on occasion and try and uh, be more of a kind of like a walkthrough tutorial that's a little more in-depth so I'm playing with some different ideas and we'll see how that goes okay lost and found we lost something in the community a little while ago and I'd like to get it back we're looking for two Lotus geeks uh, that have gone missing uh, they were last seen talking tech on October 16th 2008 uh, if you see them be careful because they're armed and extremely dangerous with domino designer uh, they're known to use lethal language, so approach with caution, and you must never, ever feed them after midnight. Okay, who am I talking to, or to talking about? Well, uh, the one and only Chris Tui and Tim Traconi of the Yellowcast podcast. Uh, I've heard some rumors that they might be gearing up to produce some shows again, and I'm just trying to do my part to push them in that direction. So if you do see them, uh, please return them to yellowcast.net thank you for that service announcement okay viewer questions okay so there's this guy I met on Twitter uh, for the most part and and he's new to domino development and he was I, I think taking a class or something where he needed to start really getting into notes development and I don't think he needs it anymore from for my impression so he's he's but he's still interested in it so he's using the free domino designer and he's got some questions on the use of forms and views and folders and stuff with an X pages he I believe comes from a traditional web background and has done some traditional domino web work and started playing with X pages and now he's kind of doing this in his spare time I believe so he's got what you know I think are some pretty decent questions so let's let's look at those okay are X pages fully replacing all of the old forms views frame sets and other design elements and I would say no they're absolutely not replacing all the old elements uh, maybe most of them uh, frame sets navigators outlines even pages I don't think have much of a place in, in X pages um, but you do need forms and you do need views forms are going to define your fields you got to have some place for the fields to live so it's and it's still going to be a form uh, the difference is in X page only development you don't need to have any other markup on the form just you know put the field in there now I've been saying I think for a little bit that you can put other markup in for documentation purposes uh, but you don't have to uh, just throw the fields on uh, views are still gonna be used for lookups and sorting and you know you still need view index indexes to make everything you know work right um, our X pages just a new container to the old forms and views and and uh, the X page is a container uh, what it really kind of contains is is controls um, uh, edit controls it contains like repeat controls these container controls and it contains custom uh, controls which are similar to like subforms that you make so you can work on the X page itself uh, with these elements or uh, the advanced X page developers use the X page purely as a, a container for custom controls I think they do almost all their work inside custom controls uh, so can we do everything from within an X page well I, 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 I guess the answer to that is yes um, in, in the meaning that you know you're not gonna be programming you know a view template default 
anymore. You, you don't have to throw code inside, HTML code inside view columns. Um, you can basically use an X page for everything that you're going to want to do. Uh, I mean, you're still going to have, you know, script libraries and, and custom controls probably, but the X page is, is, is the way of the, of the X page development, obviously. So yes, I'd say it is kind of the equivalent of an old form, but again, it's a lot more powerful than that because you can bind more than one document to an X page. So it's so on a very high level, yes, an X page can be used like a form, but it doesn't stop there. It does things that you cannot do with a form. Okay, where's the form tag from no, normal web development? I'm not exactly sure, personally, the best way to answer this. I, I've never thrown a form tag in manually anywhere. Uh, the, the Domino server renders the X page, and, and it just kind of takes care of everything. So I'm going to kind of pass on that one. Um, and should I insert an old form inside an X page? Well, I don't think you can, um, unless you do something like an iframe or some business like that or so. Uh, the X page really does replace the form from a viewing uh, perspective. So like if you go to a form, um, the actual traditional form in, inside the, the info box properties of the form and like the beanie tab, you know, there's, there's a new property for like an X page, you know, to load which X page for this you know, for the default, for that form that you're in, what, what default X page is this document or this form going to be associated with? So, so you're not really going to be inserting or reusing the old forms. Again, the forms are just going to like hold in the, your field definitions. I like to think of it kind of like as, as an access, a Microsoft Access database in a way, where the forms are your, your table definitions and, and your views are kind of like your queries. Um, and kind of like that, and right or wrong, that just kind of makes sense to me. And here's a demo. Uh, I'm going to show you how to drop a, uh, how to create a new page, and we're going to use a view controller to uh, show the view data without using the original view, of course. And we're going to click on uh, a document in that view to show a previously built X page. Okay, so here's a brand new X page in a, in a database that does have a view. Um, so let's look at a this V by application. Okay, and we're going to just throw this view basically on an X page. We're not going to use the view itself, of course. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to use the container control, and we're going to drag this over here. And now we're going to tell it which view do we want to use. V by application. Here's the fields or the columns I should say. We can choose whichever column we want to use and then we say OK. OK and here's our view. Uh, as always you've got lots of properties in here and this is where the X page is associating with the documents form and you can go to the form of a document on here display X page instead. instead. So you never use the actual form you, you create an X page for this document uh, or this for this form and that's what gets rendered when you click on it so if we come into this property this column here and we say uh, show values in these columns and links that will make this clickable and if we preview in web browser here we go and then we can click on an application And it should render in the X page. And this X page was previously built, um, but that's kind of how it works. And that's the demo. Um, so uh, hopefully that made some sense. Uh, if you have other questions or you need to contact me, uh, here's my contact information. And again, uh, the new site is notesin9.com. And I thank you for your attention.